Hey, what's up guys, back with another video. And today I'm gonna to be talking about the Steam Deck and how somebody rescued their 512 gigabyte model from delamination. This has been an issue that people have been reporting that their screens have been getting delaminated or they've been getting air bubbles underneath them. And this is some speculation from a few people online. It's basically that there is this LOCA, which is liquid optically clear adhesive. And since Valve ramped up production, this wasn't applied correctly to the Steam Deck. And so what the issue is, is that since it wasn't cured long enough or dried long enough, it's causing air bubbles to form when people start using their Steam Decks because the adhesive wasn't fully dried out of the factory. So what this person on Reddit recommended is that since it is not cured all the way, don't use the Steam Deck at all and put it outside in the sun every 15 minutes and do this two or three times, maybe even more. I guess this person did it seven times. I, it all depends, but I guess they also say, yeah, I kind of lost track maybe seven times. So this removes the delamination or like it cures it when you put it outside in the sun for 15 minutes at a time. You could just RMA it to Valve and not deal with this, but some people would rather just keep their Steam Deck, put it outside in the sun, you know, seven times in a day for 15 minutes at a time so it doesn't get damaged by the sun. And, um, you know, this may not may or may not be an option for most people because if you live in a really hot area, you could just run the risk of damaging heat damaging your Steam Deck by putting it out in the sun. But there are some people who would want to put their Steam Deck outside in the sun for 15 minutes and then try to cure the adhesive, get rid of the air bubbles, cure it all the way. Uh, because some of these things is like people have gotten 512 gigabytes and then after a week it gets delaminated uh, on some of the newer ones that are shipping out because the speculation is they got a new screen supplier, the new screen supplier didn't cure them properly. So... This is only an issue, it appears to be on the 512 gigabyte because of the lamination process that they have with the etched glass onto the, the LCD screen. So if you have the 64 gigabyte or the 256 gigabyte, you won't have this problem. Unfortunately, this seems to only be a problem on the 512 gigabyte and that's where a lot of people are seeing these this delamination on the newer batches Previous batches are Q1, uh, Q1 and Q2 people did not see this. Now it's Q3 and Q4 people who are starting to see more and more that uh, they're they're coming, they're getting their 512 gigabytes and they're having these air bubbles. So I just wanted to cover that. Yeah, um, I'll leave a link to this post if you want to read through it and see how this person how this person did it. But yeah, it was just seven sessions of putting their Steam Deck outside in the sun for 15 minutes, bringing it inside and putting out. And uh, after that, we have, uh, I just wanted to share this. If people are getting a Steam Deck and they just want a clear tempered glass screen protector, I purchased these in May. They work well. Um, you just put it on and, you know, it's only four stars, but they updated the sizing when I had purchased mine. And it was only eight bucks for three screen protectors. And this screen protector works quite well on my Steam Deck. So it comes with everything to wipe down the screen. And then you put the screen protector on it. And uh, if people want, you know, a cheap three pack of screen protectors, it's eight bucks. Maybe there's better ones out there, but this is the one that I personally purchased. So yeah, if you guys are in the market for a screen protector and you want a few of them that are cheap, uh, definitely... If you're a Prime member, you, you can get it for $7.99 with free shipping. So I would definitely recommend this one from iVolver. So yeah, that's it for this one, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.